friends, welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday, uh, the 28th of August. I can't believe August is about over. Um, it is almost one o'clock. I'm getting ready to come off my break and start my afternoon working remotely. Now, I don't know about you, but I get like an afternoon slump almost every time after lunch. In fact, so much so that a lot of times I won't eat lunch at work um, because I will be so completely exhausted. And I did eat lunch here because I was here and I ate carbs. I had some pizza and I am feeling it. And I was like, okay, I need to go have some coffee. Well, I don't want to make a whole pot because I literally will just drink one cup of it and maybe not even the whole cup. So um, I have some new coffee that I want to introduce to you. It's right here. It's called... Yavi Coffee Concentrate. Uh, this was sent free for review and I have a coupon for you guys so you guys can try this for 20% off. Now, fairness, I tried it first. I didn't want to promote it to you guys until I knew that I liked it and I do. It is delicious. It is probably some of the best coffee that I have ever tried. Now, I just have, I believe, the original um, and then you get, it's six ounces. You get 35 servings in this little bottle. It's amazing. You're just literally going to use like a teaspoon, which we've got right here. So we're going to use that. Um, it's also really easy to make and there's recipes online um, for some different types of drinks. And there is one that I want to do that's like a pumpkin caramel and pumpkin spice one, which maybe we'll make that together. Uh, maybe later on the video, I got to get a couple more ingredients for that, um, like the pumpkin spices. Um, so maybe we'll make that one together. But today I'm just doing something really simple. You make this with water. I'm going to show you every step that I do, but I wanted to tell you that they really focus on sustainable farming. It's, um, regenerative farming. So I remember when I was a kid, my dad used, he was a farmer and he used to, as a child anyway, he told me when farming that you have to rotate your crops. And the reason is like, for instance, tomatoes will take up all of the nitrogen in the soil. So when you have a really good year with your tomatoes and then the next year you you have a crappy year, it's because those nutrients that the tomatoes needed to thrive are gone out of the soil. The previous tomatoes took them. Um, so you either have to go back into the soil and add the nutrients that are depleted or rotate the crop. So a lot of times beans and sunflowers, will go ahead and put those in because they will regenerate and put more nitrogen back into the soil. And next year that will be another great place for you to do your um, tomatoes. So it's the same thing with coffee. If you continue to grow the coffee in the same location and you don't re, you know, replenish the nutrients that were lost or you don't rotate the, the coffee bean crop, you're not going to have as good of a crop. In fact, I'm dealing with that with my tomatoes this year. Um, so and you guys, if you watch my channel for any length of time, you know I had a massive, massive tomato harvest last year. And I think I've gotten two tomatoes this year because we didn't rotate our tomatoes. So um, it's also quicker, less mess, less cleanup than using like pods. You're not going to have as much waste making a full um, a full pot, especially if you're like me and you're just going to drink one. But the taste is superb. And one of the things that I found is that not only is taste really great, the little boost it gave me, I didn't have jitters or anything like that, but it just really kept me going for the whole day. So love all of that. Um, not too expensive. Like I said, it retails around $22.95. And then I have a 20% off code, which will be floating at the bottom of the screen. So hurry up so you can take advantage of that. They also have some different flavors. They have like regular and decaf. They have like mocha, caramel. Hold on, I wrote them down. I'm missing something. Oh, and French vanilla. So they have original decaf, French vanilla, mocha, and caramel currently. And then I also saw that they just launched a new one that has protein in it. So if you're trying to up your protein, maybe you can try the protein Yabi coffee as well. So I, um, I'm going to show you what we did here. So here um, is how I usually make my tea. Let me bring you guys in a little bit here so you can see better. Okay, so I've already preheated the water. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to put a little bit, I use organic milk, so I'm going to put a little bit of my organic milk in the bottom. And then we're going to just put literally a teaspoon of this in. You can do one to two, but I found for myself personally, one is plenty. Let me just show you 
mixed in the cup. That is plenty. Um, then I'm going to, I'm just going to use the hot water to clean this off as well and finish filling up. I want to leave a little more room for my whipped cream, but here's what my coffee looks like. Um, I'm also going to be putting a, a teaspoon of sugar in it. <clears throat> Not a lot. And I'm trying to cut down on my sugar intake, but you can use whatever sweetener you, you want. Okay. And then we're going to put some marshmallow whipped topping and yum. Yum, yum. Um, I will taste it with you in just a moment. I think it's right now it's a little too hot for me to sip, so I can't sip it just yet, but I know it's delicious because I've already had it. This is this will be my third um, time trying it, and I really love it, and I know you guys will too. I'm not a huge coffee drinker. Like, I don't have never really loved the, the flavor of coffee. Um, I do like to get lattes, and you can kind of create a latte with this as well, and this coffee is good iced and hot. Um, so I'm having it hot. It's a rainy day here. It's starting to turn fall, still warm though. Uh, but I prefer, I, I prefer it warm, but there's some really great recipes. So um, I'll put a couple of the pictures here on the side so you can see some of the different recipes and what they look like that you can do with this. And um, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and then wake up from it and then finish out strong my work day and my afternoon. So I'll see you guys at the end, but don't forget to check out my link and the coupon code so you can get a discount and try this out for yourself. And if you try it, let me know. I'm really curious to hear your thoughts on the coffee. I was really surprised. When I took the first sip, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I took the sip and I'm like, oh, the flavor was different than what I was used to with coffee. It didn't have that burned kind of flavor. It's really caramely and malty and yummy. Like delicious coffee. I might become a avid coffee drinker after trying this. So anyway, thank you to Yavi Coffee for sending this out for me to try out and uh, to share the coupon and promo code with all of my subscribers. So enjoy guys. I'm going to go enjoy my cup of coffee. And even though this says morning and it's now afternoon, it's time to get my, it's time to get my caffeine on so that I can, uh, I can perform. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, me and Robert are heading to the beach. Before the bikini is so cute. We'll see you there. All right, so we are going to um, get some lunch in Williamsburg, and then there's like a beach. I think it's called Yorktown Beach. It's just like a little crappy beach. It's not like a nice one, but it's close. So we're going to go there and uh, lay on the beach and have some fun. Um, this little cutesy bathing suit that I have on, I think was from Shein. Um, I'm not sure, but I think that's where I got it. And it fits. It's one of the only ones that fits me right now. So that's what we're doing. see we're already moving we are in route right now so so fun so um, yeah so we'll be at the beach it's just a little dorky beach but it's close and it takes like 45 minutes from our home to get there um, not long at all so I'll see you guys there
warm it's not even shocking it's like warm hi guys it's early in the morning i came out here to start my um sprinkler but i just need to show you this look at how pretty this little mess is every one of these sunflowers is different look at that big bee on there there's two bees on this one. And then we have all these little pops of color. This little guy broke and fell over. I could probably cut him. Oh, there's a bee in him. Are you even alive? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, he was sleeping and I irritated him. But anyway, I gotta get this watered. Well, I just went outside to plant some arugula and some dahlia seeds and noticed I had some beans on my purple bean plant. I'll show you. Ready? And we picked up a bunch of beans um, yesterday, too, from um, Lauren had moved out of her brother's house that he has and um, bought their own. And we've been getting the vegetables out of there because they're not going back. And they said, go ahead and get it. But anyway, I've got some purple beans that... I, oop, and I'm dropping that I just picked. Um, let's see right there. Um, so I think with those beans and the ones we got yesterday, we probably have enough to make a meal. I'm gonna go check now. Yeah, I would say that's enough for, it's just me and Robert. That's more than enough for the two of us. So maybe we will cook these beautiful bebes. There's three different types of beans in here. We'll just cook them all together um, for part of our side for our dinner, I think. Oh my god, this cat. She just gotta always be up against the dog. It doesn't matter if it's Nitro or Chopper. But Nitro's her fave. She's so funny. I mean, she came out of an alley. She was feral. I think she's a little handicapped. She just immediately loved the dogs and hates the cats. She had never seen another dog, as far as we know, in her life. And she just wanted those dogs. Like, she just, it was like she knew these dogs before. Really weird. She's like, BFF, BFF. I see you, Nitro. So cute. What are you doing? No, not you. Now I disturbed you. Did I disturb you? No, you just want my food. That's what he wants right there. Nope. Not getting it, kiddo. Not getting it. No matter how cute you look and bag, you're not you're not getting it. Go lay down. Go on. Lay down. Go be by your kitty. Go lay down. Don't see he's looking at it. You're not getting toast. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Go be by your kitty. Just burp in my face. No. Go lay down. Lay down. Cat's still laying down being a good girl. I was trying to see. I had two, oh, there it goes. I had two hummingbirds over by the sunflowers. There's one right there on the roses. Now she's up in the tree. Um, look at that bush. Robert's got to cut the whole thing down. <laughs> it like, it. he didn't cut it last. This is what happens if you don't cut these grasses. It's a grass. He didn't cut it last fall, I think. I don't know. And that's what happens. It just falls. It just too much. So there's the, uh, what the front's kind of looking like right now. Got a few things in bloom. All right. 
Good morning. It's actually Thursday morning. I have not filmed in a couple of days, and that is because I am working extra long hours uh, because I'm training someone new, and I haven't been home um, at all. Oh. <laughs> you still there? <laughs> I haven't been home. I have to pull this shit out. Um, so I've been working late training and then getting home late and also working at the office five days a week the last couple of weeks. So I'm a little tired, um, but good morning. I have things to tell you, so I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to try to drive with you guys here. So, um, I listened to this, like, I guess it was kind of like a YouTube video podcast type of a thing yesterday. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to link it for you guys because, by the way, don't my eyes look gorgeous? Oh my gosh, you know what this is, right? This is the new Natasha Denona I Need a Nude on my eye. So stunning. Um, I used it yesterday. I took pictures of today, today's look, but I might have to recre recreate this one because this one is so pretty. Um, anyway, I listened to this like podcast thing on YouTube. Like I said, I'm going to put the YouTube link down below. It's a specialist doctor that is specializes in women's hormones and how they don't really test for, let me see if I can put you guys here, how they don't really test, I know my steering wheel's in the way, but um, they don't really test women properly for hormones because all they test is your estrogen and women actually have a very complex hormonal system with multiple different types of hormones and um, then it talked about, Robert's been in the seat, no I can't reach, it talked about um, how that affects women and um, his wife had like cancer, she couldn't have babies, she had endometriosis, she was in pain all the time, and after he learned more about hormones and had every one of her hormones tested, um, they found what the problem was and fixed it, and she went on to have babies after being told, I think they had four healthy girls. Um, so anyway, super amazing thing, and just important for us to like know um, how our bodies work and to know how to find the right doctors for our bodies, um, which he has a, um, on his website, and there's a link in this video, he has a website for you to go to, and you can sign up for his newsletter, but it also has like, it's like a resource for you, how to find doctors that do this type of testing in your area. So um, I'm gonna link that below, because I just think it's, and it's honestly, it's about, it's over an hour long, but it's like, it's so entertaining, I didn't want it to stop. And it talks a lot about men and their testosterone. And it talks about, you should watch it with your husband because it talks about how men need to protect women and, and how you know women's bodies are, how they are, we get sick from stress. If we have too much stress because of our hormones, it literally makes us sick. And how men need to know this so they can protect us from that stress. And, um, and it talks about how women can keep their man um, constantly engaged um, and interested and loyal and all this other stuff. But um, it was just so neat, you know, and without, um, and how women will combat men and how like, you know, when we're angry, we'll yell at a guy and like how that just enrages their testosterone and the way that they are due to their hormones and how we should react to them instead. The whole thing was so fascinating. I know you guys will enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And if you watch it, please, please, please let me know. All right, I need coffee this morning. After today's, uh, we got tomorrow, I gotta go into tomorrow's the fifth day in a row I've been in, well, plus all last week. And um, I'm feeling it, kids. I am tired. So I need coffee. Pronto. And I left my, I got a, I got a coffee I gotta show you guys. It just came in. I tried it yesterday. It is amazing. It was sent to me in PR. I'm going to um, tell you guys about it probably in this video. I left it home though, so I have to just get my coffee. Um, but I was really excited about that coffee. Actually, I wanted to make it this morning before I left. So anyway, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. I have to sneeze, so I gotta go. Good evening. It is, uh, I just got home from work. It's um, Thursday? around five something and I'm wearing this cute little shirt that I got or the dress I think where did I get this Timu maybe I don't know it, but anyway it's a it's a dress and uh I'm just out here watering stuff I don't even remember what I planted everywhere 
Um, and then, oh, there's strawberry ready. We're gonna grab that and we're gonna look and see if there are some beans, green beans ready. I think there will be, um, but everything out here is just a little bit wilted. So be right back and we'll look for produce. We'll see, we'll get this strawberry over here. So that looks amazing. I gotta get it before a bird or an animal gets it. Um, and then we'll look for some beans. Be right back. All right, let's see if we got the beans. We do, there's a bean right there. That could be eaten. It could be also get bigger, but um, I'm kind of pulling them while they're young. Um, oh, there's a couple biggies. Look at those sucker joes. There's a lot coming, but they're not ready yet. So we're gonna grab the ones that seem like they are ready. Oh, look, also my first calendula. So that's nice too. Oh yeah, look at this guys, look. All right, let me pick all these because I need both hands and I'll be back. All right, here is our haul. We got one big, delicious, juicy, perfect strawberry. I mean, that is truly a perfect little strawberry. So very happy about that and then we got a good handful of beans there's a couple green ones in here but this is one variety and then there's a couple of the pink um tanya's pink um pod bush beans here as well these there's a few more coming but mostly these are done i've got like a just a small little handful of those in here and then the rest are the purple which are delicious they cook green they don't stay purple but they're so so good yum yum good morning good morning it is friday morning thank you God. <laughs> anyway, um, I am exhausted. I, my eyes are watering this morning. In fact, let me turn this air down. I'm kind of cold. Um, I also woke up and just didn't have time to get in the shower. So I put my extensions in from um, Irresistible Me. Look at how long and beautiful they are. Um, so um, I'll have them linked down below. I think I still have a code for them. So because I've worked with them like twice. These are like the full extensions. I The last collab I did it was like the um ponytail do you guys remember when my hair was that long remember <laughs> it's been a while but my hair was that long all by itself um if you're new you probably would know that but it wasn't that long ago and then I chopped it all off real short and now it's like right here actually this there that's my hair right there so it's a really good match um the ponytail that I got last time wasn't the best match it said it was the same color but it wasn't this is ash blonde and that's what the ponytail was but the the ponytail is significantly darker so anyway um yeah so that's my long hair for today so um I'm today my new recruit starts making her very first phone calls um and she's nervous, but she's gonna be fine. I think she's gonna actually be really good. Um, she's very smart and um, passionate. I think she's gonna enjoy doing what we do. So um, I'm excited about that. Man, these cars are so stupid here. This line is ridiculous for Starbucks on Friday. Um, I should have went to the one by my house. There was definitely less, but this one is faster. Um, I used on my lips today a stain, a lip oil stain. Um, I'll have to show it to you. They're they're in a little wine bottles. I got it off TikTok, and there's like a bunch of them. They're so cute. So I'll have to show you guys uh, those. And I went out and looked at all my sunflowers. They're so pretty and blooming. But I was hoping to save seeds. But it looks like the birds are eating all the seeds in my sunflower. So we'll just let the birds have it. I, I can buy more sunflower seeds. So um, anyway, that's uh, that's about it. That's what's going on. I may call my son today and on the way home stop by and see little Grayson Buck because he's um, not too far from here from where I work. Um, and I want to talk to TJ at some point when his dad gets him and see how his first week of school went. So um, I'll hear because it can be a little problem here. People are driving like idiots because the people behind me don't want to wait. So they're just going into their other lane, which is illegal. But anyway. All right, I'll see you guys later. Do it again. One, two, three. How do you say it? You count. One, three. No. Two. No. Four, you know it. Three, say two, no. I should say that word. Say one. Don't, don't say that word. That word. What word did I say? I didn't say a bad word. Say one, two, three. 
One, two, three. Right, I don't want your stinky feet. You eat your stinky feet. Oh, <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> All right, you we finish your popsicle because you know what time it is, right? What time is it? Tell TT what time it is. Um, three, two. No, one, two, three. You say one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Say one, two, three. How old are you? How old are you? You know, next month you're going to be three. Uh-oh, baby. You going to eat that? There's more? Okay, get it off Titi's couch. Put that in your mouth. It's melting in my hand. Here. Mmm. Is that a good popsicle? Did Papa do good? He pick out a good one for you? Are you ready to go to bed now? You go wash your hands? <laughs> Let's go wash your hands. Precious is with me today. Good job, football player. Grayson, do you know how to do that? What? Do you need a little help? Yes. All right. Put one foot on it. Hold on. Let me turn this. There you go. Put one foot on and one foot off. Hold on. There you go. That's how you do it. One. Where's Ellie's truck? Oh, trunk. Get that stroller out of there. Ah. All right, go right up here. No, I go away. Yeah, we're gonna go to. Look at me. Where are we going? Park. To that way. The park. You know where the park is. Why? Do you know where the park is? Way far away. I don't know where it is. Are we walking? Yep. All right. Oh, it's walking. Okay. I I go walk. All right, we gotta wait for TJ and Allie and Ty Uncle Tyler and Aunt Allie, okay? Yeah. Say, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Oh, TJ's playing football. You wanna see how he throws a football? Good job, TJ. Come, let's see how TJ throws the ball. Can you throw the ball? You do? You know how to throw it, too? TJ wants, Grayson wanted to throw too. He goes, I can throw the ball. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh. I thought he was going to pick it up off the bounce. Run, 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 run. Grayson, pick your pants up. Your butt crack showing. You might have to, I might have to like roll him down. They're too big, his pants. Is that hot? Are the slides hot? Yeah. No. Stop. You're stuck. There you go. Try it now. All right, that's good, Gray. You're gonna make him dizzy. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> Somebody is wide awake. Somebody is wide awake. Look at the pretty. Are you pretty girl? Are you pretty girl? What are you looking at, baby? What are you doing? <laughs>
Good morning. It is actually a Sunday morning. I just finished filming two different eye looks, so that's why my eyes are not the same. Um, and uh, yesterday I had, well, I had Grace and Friday night over to Saturday um, daytime, and we went over to his cousin Tyler's, um, or TJ's house, Tyler's son, um, and Savannah's. We saw baby Savannah and TJ, and we went to the park, um, just in their complex there and played, and uh, Grayson was so tired, he had a, a couple meltdowns by the end of it, and he was crying. He fell off the bed, and he was crying, and he, his parents came, and he was crying, and, oh, excuse me, friends, and, um, and then he went home with his daddy. His mom and dad had pizza and ate, and we came home, and I was exhausted, and my body hurt, and I did nothing else for the rest of the day. <laughs> so, it's Sunday, time to get shit done, um, but wanted to come in here and end the vlog um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.